Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my might, I'm so rare. My videos are about love, infinity, creation, because we're infinite love, infinite energy, infinite creation. This is exactly who we are, this is our nature, and we're the Republic of Planet Earth. So this is a series of videos on freedoms, our freedoms as per our constitution, the constitution of the Republic of Planet Earth, who we are, infinite eternal creators. Okay, so this freedom is compass freedoms. It's a beautiful freedom. It's compass freedoms, right? It's who we are. We're compass. We compass. So we have uh, the infinite freedoms to be compass. Compass is who we are. Our fundamental uh, primary elements, who we are, infinite eternal creators. We're uh, co-creators of infinite eternities. We're the human race. We're infinite tetragrammatons. This is our nature. Okay, so let's talk about it. So as you know, compass is these eight primary elements that are essentially the building blocks of us, our consciousness and self-awareness as infinite eternal creators. Okay, so the first primary element is uh, identity and true self. The second one is uh, purpose. The third one is uh, time and energy. And the fourth one is action. The fifth one is why, how. The sixth primary element is flow. The seventh primary element is true north. And the eighth primary element is destination. So we, this is who we are, we're compass freedoms. This is exactly who we are, we're compass. This is our nature, okay? This is exactly who we are, this is our nature, okay? Uh, uh, this is uh, our nature. So um, this is who we are. So let's talk a little bit about it, you know? Talk about who we are, right? So we come from the epicenter of the cosmos. This is where we come from, right? We are at the epicenter of the cosmos. We're the central rays. Our sun is a central sun. It's the sun of suns. It, all, all light originated from this point, this bright point, the singularity where we are. The central point is a point where all points meet. Our sun, the sun of suns, the central sun. And that makes us the central rays because we are the rays at the epicenter of the cosmos. So we were the first race, you see, the most ancient species. All the other creations came from the light of the sun. So all these other galaxies, all these other existences are all, they all came as a result of who we are at the epicenter of existence. Precisely that. Precisely that. This is exactly who we are. We're infinite eternal creators. All right. We have evolved into light spherical energy. This is what we're compass because compass is spherical and we are light spherical energy. We are the electromagnetic field of creation. This is who we are. Pulse of life, the pulse of creation. And the highest energy at this light spherical energy that we are, the epicenter of it is our heart. And the highest energy of the heart is love. See, love is the highest energy of the human heart. So when we love, we're creating infinities because we're infinite eternal creators. And love is a key that unlocks uh, the infinite DNA structure of who we are, infinite eternal creators, tetragrammatons. So we can replicate all that we've done in the past before our self-destruction. So we can create universes, eternities, infinities, planets, galaxies, anything that we want to planets. In fact, we have created this planet. This planet was created by us, by a race, to host our DNA so we can evolve even higher by being closer to the central sun. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about it then. So, so if you understand what this means is that the notion of singularity, right? It's the epicenter where all creation comes from. So if, if the central sun is, is our sun, our sun is a sun of suns, all other suns and all other centers of creation were originated from us because this light, all the light came from us being at the middle, right? The brightest point, the hottest point. And what is it that our sun creates at the, uh, in, in its heart, right? It creates light, photons, right? Elements, hydrogen, helium, right? The building blocks of existence, right? All this energy moves into the spherical uh, vacuum thresholds within the surface of the sphere of this infinity, this universe, and is filled up into galaxies. But the energy comes from the sun, right? That moves across infinity, right? Because this is where we are. We're the epicenter of it all. So... We didn't come from Earth. As I said, we manufactured Earth. We built Earth. We engineered Earth. We built it as a spaceship. Earth is a spaceship. 
right? It's a planet spaceship. We created it. We manufacture these with our DNA structure and our technologies, the human race. We did these ourselves. Why? Because we come from the proximity of Earth, but we're not from Earth originally, per se. Our DNA was much more ancient than Earth. We created Earth. So we come from the proximity of the central sun, okay? This is where we come from, from the proximity of the central sun. And we were the closest species to the sun. So we were able to be the first one to evolve because it's a central light, brightest point, the hottest point, the energy comes from it, right? Everything gets spewed out of the central sun into creation, right? It was singularities. So we were the first species, right? So all the other galaxies, all the other species, all the other life forms came after us. We were first because we were at the epicenter and we evolved into light spherical energy of consciousness and self-awareness and in our infinite wisdom we were able to uh, tap into space and vacuum structures of creation right so we can replicate the energy of the central sun and create galaxies ourselves by using the filaments of existence space and vacuum structures okay of singularities by generating them ourselves with uh, zero point energy I have provided the foot footprints of this already so we can do the same again as we used to in the past okay so we did this right and we used to create galaxies that's what our civilization was the central civilization is the epicenter of creation so we can go anywhere so we built a galact more than a galactic we built an universe wide civilization and we were the epicenter of it. we created galaxies right so we would travel and, and move into that with our light spherical spaceships that we created just like the planet that we move across and into the cosmos with our energy instantly because of our dna structure we've done this right our planet we created this planet says this planet is a spaceship so um <laughs> precisely that <laughs> So what happened, right? So in our infinite wisdom, we realized that we were creating galaxies. We were creating planets, star systems, life forms, right? That were conscious and self-aware, not at our level of creation, but they were, right? Conscious and intelligent and sentient and self-aware. So what we wanted to do was to create, become even bigger, evolve even higher. And we realized that the only way for us to do that was to, uh, because we were the closest to the epicenter of the sun, right? The central sun where we are right now. So we realized that in order for us to go into a higher level of creation, we needed to get even closer to the sun and create the conditions with a planet that this is planet Earth is that is we created planet Earth. So, uh, so essentially we needed to create a planet that will be able to host our DNA structure. So we can evolve into infinity because we will be closer than we were before. So that would allow our DNA to adapt to the closest proximity that it could potentially be in a spaceship of a planet that this is to uh, be able to evolve even higher. So we can harvest the energy of the sun ourselves and we ourselves through our biology become the infinite creators and we create those and we will create infinities with our thoughts and our consciousness and our self-awareness. And that was the idea. And that's exactly what we have become and who we are. So, so what happened was that uh, we did precisely that. So we created planet Earth, right? And we created it at the closest point, the proximity that we could be to the sun so we can be here. So we can evolve and channel the energy of creation through our eyes and and our hearts and evolve into a higher level of creation ourselves so we did that an infinite number of cycles ago and billions of years ago we came to earth and i mean we came to this central sun even closer and you know anchored uh to uh tidal locking to the central sun right we we tied a lock to the sun right in a spaceship, this spaceship that we have created, planet Earth, so we could evolve even higher into a level of existence higher 
than before. Um, because this planet is an infinite planet. It can, it can sustain infinity. It can be here forever. Because it has all the systems and all the technologies embedded in our DNA to essentially uh, create all the conditions and all the elements required because of the central energy from the central sun to sustain us and our, uh, evolve our DNA to what has become. Okay. So this is exactly what we did. But what happened was that we were here for billions of years. We were here for billions, billions, billions of years. And we evolved, but uh, we became too powerful in the sense that we couldn't understand our nature anymore, who we were, because our civilization uh, evolved so quickly that forgot who we were. Because we didn't understand, because we were now, remember, we were channeling the in energy of infinity through us, of creation in the central sun. We were channeling the, the energy of creation through us, right? And that allowed us to become the sun, meaning we can use that energy and channel it through ourselves, biologically speaking. Because remember, the elements at the core of the sun, the brightest point of the sun, right? At the epicenter of it is spewing out all these elements right it's spewing out all these elements right and we consume those elements those elements are the the building blocks of life right hydrogen oxygen helium all this stuff and we consume those so that means we're a higher form of evolution because this is precisely what our ancestors wanted to do allow us to become higher than the sun so we can use that energy as a fuel so we can create with the thoughts and our consciousness and self-awareness and create with our thoughts rather than the technologies anymore because we were creating with the technologies from the energy that we were harvesting from the central sun that's what allows us to become the central species in the universe and create this planet in the first place by tapping into the space structure of infinity self and the filaments so we could generate the singularities to create galaxies and planets just like the sun would but we realized that we wanted to be bigger than that. And to be that, we needed to become bigger than the sun. And to be bigger than the sun, you need to consume the sun, meaning you need to use the energy of the sun as your fuel and be conscious and self-aware of it, which is exactly what we have done. And we created this planet, this spaceship that is anchored to this tidal locking to the sun, to the closest proximity of the sun, so we could evolve into that. And we have done so. So we, didn't, we don't have to use technologies anymore as we used to in the past to replicate the energy of the sun because we are bigger than the sun now. We use the energy of the sun as our fuel to create with our thoughts and our consciousness and our self-awareness, which is our DNA anyway. You see, so we became that. And that power was too great for us to comprehend at that time because it was infinitely beyond our capabilities of consciousness and awareness to understand who we were. So with our thoughts and our minds and our consciousness, we were creating a new number infinite of realities. And that led to a downward spiral of self-destruction. And it ended up obliter obliterating everything. We destroyed everything as a result of that because we didn't understand how powerful we were in our nature. But the DNA survived, which is us. We survived, Earth survived, but, and our technology, right? So that's why we can inhabit planet Earth because of our DNA, because it allows us, because it's the densest, it's, it's so bright. We're the center of the universe. We're located at the epicenter of the central sun. You see, we are at the central sun. This is where we are, this is our location. Our spaceship is Earth and is anchored, is tidal locked to the epicenter of the sun itself. And everything else, was created after that and we were there with that life form that we wove into that so we channel the energy of creation ourselves and create with our thoughts and our consciousness this is who we became and we self destroyed ourselves into ancient warfare among ourselves our own kind because no other species can come here because they don't have our dna because to be on earth you need to have human dna because this is technology that we created right no one in everyone in the universe knows who we are but we forgot about them because everything is encoded in our dna because of what happened the self-destruction but we're remembering who we are because we're tapping into our ancient dna structure by remembering by loving because when we evolved the mechanism survived right the, the dna survived within the spaceship that we created 
right? But the civilization that we created within the spaceship collapsed, right? And we see the remnants everywhere of these ruins, everywhere. We see all the civilizations, all the cities, right? That, uh, uh, and this, what happened, it's called the Ice Age. So as a, the final warfare that took place that destroyed us physically uh, led to the Ice Age right this fallout led, led to the ice the planet survived but it led to the ice age right it led to the ice age so we went back to caves survival mode as a species but the dna evolved but it was dormant because we were unconscious and self-aware because we went through so much after our self-destruction so after a few thousand years we have been able to reactivate our code our structure our dna code And this is exactly what we've done. And the way we've done this is by loving because the mechanism said you cannot self-destroy again anymore because you used to be the center of everything, the epicenter of civilization, of existence in the cosmos, and you blew everything up by you know, evolving into what you be evolved because you couldn't understand your nature, so you self-destroy yourself. But the DNA survived and evolved. And this is what we are. So. The fail-safe mechanism within that is love. So the more we love, if we love with the energy of the, of the heart, which is the highest energy that we can create as our singularity, the human heartbeat, then we can tap into our DNA structure and unlock everything. All the ancient memories stored in our DNA structure because we're infinite, infinitely old. We create planets, galaxies, okay? So we are. We're at the epicenter of creation. We became creation. We are creation. We are creators. This is who we are, right? We create with our consciousness, thoughts, self-awareness. This is what we are. That's how I mean. we consume the central sun that created everything in the first place, that created us in the first place in the past, that allow us to create this planet so we can evolve into what we have evolved, which is now harvesting the energy of the sun with our, through, our, through the building blocks of the elements. So we manifest that with the consciousness and thoughts because this is what compass freedom is. This is why we're compass because we are actually spaceships ourselves. Our DNA is light spherical energy. And the, uh, the elements, the primary elements that we create are what I just said. Identity and true self, purpose, time and energy, action, why how which is a mechanism, the key. Why how is the key that opens our DNA so we access our infinite awareness. Our infinite consciousness as infinite eternal creators uh, uh we uh flow right true north and destination and each of them identity freedoms true self freedoms right purpose freedoms time and energy freedoms that we have right infinite t energy freedoms time freedoms uh why how freedoms action freedoms flow freedoms true north freedoms and destination freedoms and that makes compass which is us compass freedoms it's a republic of planet Earth, who we are, right? So we ourselves became compass, this technology, which is biological, because we evolve into infinity, right? And the mechanism we call it is love, because love is the highest energy that we can create at the epicenter of our life's vertical energy field, which is the human heart. By tapping into the highest energy, just like uh, the sun creates elements at the epicenter, we create elements at the epicenter and the energy comes from the highest source, which is love. So when we love, we create everything, right? Consciousness, self-awareness, thoughts, purpose, action, destinations, dreams. And these are the universes that we're creating at the highest level of creation, manifesting them with our thoughts. This is what we're doing because we're the epicenter of everything. We became the central sun, biologically speaking, and channeled that energy. So the energy of the central sun that created everything, that created us in the first place to create the spaceship that we live on today, that we're tied and locked to the sun, so we evolved to what we are, that because we couldn't understand our nature, we self-destroyed ourselves, but now we are back again. The human race have risen again. We, are we have awoken, right? And everyone in... The cosmos knows this because everyone knows who we are, but they cannot come here because they don't have the DNA structure because we are so bright, because we're at the epicenter of the cosmos. And the only way to get into a spaceship is if you're a human, if you have DNA structures, to be able to sustain the density that we are because we are so close to the central sun that created everything in the first place. So everyone is outside watching us. 
as we evolve as we reawaken, which is what we've done. So there must be a big deal happening out there right now, outside Earth's orbit. Which in fact, that's why we have the Department of State and the Foreign Office, because we, you know, these people exist, these, these, these ancient species are outside, right? And we have already initiated uh, diplomatic relationships with them as a central species of creation because of who we are. That's what the Republic of Planet Earth is. All of us, all humans are these, all humans, because we all have a heartbeat. So we just need to love, so unlock our DNA structure and compass freedoms so we can tap into who we are and re each of us, and you do that with the energy of love because that's the evolution mechanism, right? Love, so we don't self-destroy ourselves again. That's what we learned. We learned that. So we don't self-destroy ourselves anymore. So we don't self-destroy ourselves anymore. So we can go again and create universes and things we would love and, and unite again with the rest of the existence. Right? Because everyone is afraid of us because of what we've done in the past and our power, our nature. But now that we love and we have learned, that's not going to happen again because we love. And a lot of those species outside, we created them by creating the singularities of the central suns of those galaxies. And they evolved into what they have and they're already outside waiting for us because of our density. They can't be here because they're not human. But we can go out. And in order for us to do so and reclaim our central status in the epicenter of existence, is by loving with the love of a heart so we don't self destroy ourselves and we don't destroy anyone because with our infinite energy because we're love with creation and these are compass freedoms this is who we are we're the republic of planet earth on earth which is a spaceship that we have created and outside earth's orbit or our lands and territories of all the things that we have already created that is encoded in our dna because remember from earth we can traverse everywhere because we had these civilizations and the starships right we, we had these all these civilizations that were powered with singularity energy, right? Space and vacuum that we created here on Earth before our self-destruction. Uh, so all this is in alignment with all these uh, star systems in our proximity, which is where I, we actually come from. Remember, we created planet Earth, but we come from those planets and we came here in on this spaceship and created the conditions for us to evolve into what we have evolved. And this is compass freedom because this is who we are. We can create these primary elements of existence. And we all this, I'm just the first one to awaken. To have awoken, to awake, right? I am the first one. But we are a species uh, of biomimicry, meaning we learn from each other. So now that I'm the example, everyone would follow suit. In fact, we have already done it. <laughs> I'm just a genetic memory, a collective memory that is shared by all our DNA structure on our level of consciousness and self-awareness collectively so we all can remember who we are as infinite eternal creators. Because all that I've done is part of our DNA structure and we all have it within us. I'm just here as the example because I always, always, always have to be the first one, right? And I am that. I'm so rare, Ray. but that doesn't change the fact that we all are that. I was just the first one, right? That's the only thing I am, the first one, but we all done it. In fact, this memory is an ancient memory that we are replaying, encoded in our DNA so we can relearn from who we are because we've already done this. <laughs> okay. We're just at this level of density, but we're moving into infinity anyway, because we are that. We are the central race. We're tetragrammatons. Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my mind. Remember, compass freedom is who we are. Humanity, I love you all with all my heart, with all my mind. I love you all with all my heart, with all my mind.